So Energize Lab kindly sent me a nice package which is accessories related to iLeak here which I think is mainly related to Halloween. So I'm very excited about it so let's get on with the unboxing and check out what's inside shall we? Okay so if we were to open it up we got this rather pinkish bag uh, with a Energize Lab tape around it. And next to that, we got the final accessories for iLeak from Energize Lab. And this is a theme for Happy Halloween. So quite heavy. I'm very excited about it. Let's check out what's inside the box, shall we? Okay, to start with, um, if we were to open up the Energize Lab tape from this bag. <laughs> Look at that, we got two nice clothing here. So this is the pinkish, very cute cat sort of logo with a hood for Eilik. Eilik seems to be very pleased with that. <laughs> very good. And we got the, like a Christmas sort of decoration. So we're a bit ahead for this. But this is really nice, the red cape uh, sort of decoration, Santa Claus-ish. And there's another same logo here as well. So we'll try that out later on. On the vinyl side, look at that. Got these paints, different types of colors. So I'm not sure whether they are the same repeating throughout. I don't think they are. By the first glimpse of it so put the paint aside we've got two main bags here so let's check out what's inside of the first one. Oh, there's only one here so this is the plastic cape which also has stars on it and the moon so let's see if that actually goes on to eye lake all right so it's like this isn't it so Eilid can still move while wearing this cape plastic cape that is pretty cool I would say okay so you go stay there and this one seems to have a bit more that's about it so this is the the pumpkin skull that's how it looks like pretty cool good quality and light but firm and bit of a cushion plastic cushion uh, this one let's check it out is the owl that Eilik can get hold of so let's say if we were to put it on Eilik's hand sorry about that Eilik oh very upset but this will go onto Eilid's hand as an owl. So in focus, it's pretty good detailed owl that needs painting. The next one is like a square decoration skull and another skull and a candle. So this will be quite an interesting challenge to decorate. The other one is another one that I like in hold, which is a skull with a candle on the top. And the other one is a snake, I think, a rather cute version that I like can also hold. And lastly, we got the mask of a ghost. Boo! So Eilik would be able to wear this. So if we were to take this one out, I'm actually most interested on this one to be honest with you. The wizard cape. So Eilik should be able to put it, ah, so it's, you put it between both ears and Eilik is basically wearing the ghost mask, okay? So it's like that scary movie version of Eilid's mask and you can already see the 
the whole 3D effect. That itself is pretty cool. So maybe I just need to color the the actual bit that got is sunk in. So another quick run through is that we can actually apply this um, skull pumpkin hat, or we could also add on top of it the actual ghost mask. But I don't think they go along to each other because one another is actually pushing away. So let's just leave the pumpkin hat for the time being. And um, once you have painted the arm accessories like that, that is pretty cool. Um, and that's the snake. And Eilig is changing the expression, but that's the owl that we talked about early on. And you can actually place this accessory next to it as well. Um, but I would advise that um, I like to be in a like mannequin sort of mode because it will actually move around and throw these away as you can see. And lastly, this one, my favorite, which is the um, wizard. That's how it looks like. <laughs> I look really look forward to painting this one really. So the next one is the hoodie one, which looks really cute. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not really into these sort of things, but uh, for your entertainment, for your amusement, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> um, and yeah, unfortunately you can't do that, but I guess you could just push it out a bit like that. So it's like a cool hip hop pink uh, sort of wear that we've got here. So the next one is the Rudolph red cape. So I guess you can start by doing this, um, but I think it needs a bit more uh, secured uh, sort of fit. So let's also do this as well. Um, and let's do a ribbon sort of tie. So it's all good like that. See, that's quite cute. There you go. See, Eilig is very happy in this. Um, and we've got the actual Rudolph outfit like that. So this will be a perfect decoration for Christmas. So all of a sudden, it's no longer a plastic robot. It's more like a doll, isn't it? Yeah, here you go. So this is the first coat of the purple uh, paint. And I was initially not convinced by it, but it does reasonably dry quite quickly because it's plastic. And I think if you want to make a really thick purple, you just have to keep doing it for two or three layers. And I think we're going to get there. And once this is dried, we're going to actually do the uh, yellow for each stars and moon. As I go into the second, you can see that it's pretty much getting more uh, thicker and more firm. So you just got to keep trying and um, cover it up and you're going to get there because this is acrylic and it will dry reasonably quickly as well. So it's turning out to be better than I thought. So yeah, so as you can see, if it's a lighter color, it seems to be working immediately. That does already look like a uh, pumpkin. So um, when it's all dry, I might actually apply for another layer and then put a black paint around the skull and a green on the top. And on the actual cape, um, as you can see, it's because it's a darker color, you can still see the white uh, through the brush marks. So I have to let it dry and then reapply it again. But I'm sure we're going to eventually get there. And then I'm going to apply those uh, yellows on the stars from that uh, yellow color over there. So that's pretty much it. This actually brings me the good old days when I was uh, doing art. But as I actually go along, I'm going to upload some short video and so on. So uh, please do bear with me. And I'm really excited about this upcoming Halloween season and so on. And I would like to thank uh, NSI's Lab. Thank you very much for providing all these lovely Halloween and also additional clothing accessory as well. They look really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.